As you may recall, scientific notation is in the form a times 10 to the b, where a has to be, be between 1 and 10. Sometimes numbers are almost in scientific notation, but a is not between 1 and 10. Because of this, we have to shift decimal places one way or the other to keep track of real scientific notation. We have to put the number in front in scientific notation. We then use exponent properties on the tens. In example one, a is not between one and ten. So we need to get it that way by shifting our decimal point to the left two places. A will now look like this, 5.236 times 10 to the negative 8, and now we have to determine if we're going to add or subtract the value or the number of places the decimal was shift to the left. Since we shifted the value or the decimal point to the left and made the value of the number smaller, we have to add 2 to the exponent. And we get 5.236 times 10 to the negative 6. Another way of thinking about this is that we are multiplying by a multiple of 10 twice, or like this, 5.236 times 10 to the negative 8 times 10 to the 2. Notice that when we multiply bases, we add the exponents and we get exactly the same thing, 5.236 times 10 to the negative 6. So whichever way makes more sense to you, you're doing exactly the same thing and you get exactly the same answer. In example two, we're shifting the decimal place to the right three places. One, two, three. And this is where we put our new decimal point. So our new number will be 3.2 times 10 to the five minus three, because we shifted our decimal place to the right three spaces, or three decimal places. And we get 3.2 times 10 to the second.